guys good morning and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing a day in the life hold on i need coffee just spilled that on my leg who am i am i a child it's okay because this is on my list of things to do today um today we are going to be doing a day in the life i originally was going to do a solo day in the life but yesterday andrew actually came home from work probably 10 minutes after he left because he was not feeling well. So he is not doing so great. They actually had him go to the base hospital this morning to go get COVID tested. So he's actually there right now getting tested. He doesn't think he has it, but there's really strict, um, what do you want to say? There's, there's really strict requirements and procedures. There you go. There's really strict procedures for when you get sick. They take it very, very seriously. Cases over here are very, very slim, so they want to keep it that way. Anyway, so he went to go do that. I just made Stella some breakfast, and I'm having my coffee. It is currently... 7:57 today i slept in till 7 and if you guys know me i typically sleep in till like 5 45 6 and lately my body has been sleeping in till like 7 7 15 the other morning i slept in till 7 30 and i cannot remember the last time i slept in till 7 30 i just naturally wake up early so sleeping in getting that extra hour or so of sleep has been actually really nice and great for my body so andrew's doing a lot better today but he still gets to stay home today i believe the test he is taking he'll get the results within a few hours so i'm actually going to take advantage of him feeling a little better and him being home and i'm going to head to the gym a little earlier today normally i go around 2 2 30 so when he gets home i'm just going to get dressed and head straight to the gym and kind of get that out of the way i have a few things i need to go do today and run a few errands i have a project that we are going to be working on and i'm so excited i'm going to do a whole dedicated video about this but we are going to be redoing the backsplash and the countertops in our kitchen i can't think it's still way too early clearly but we're going to be doing the backsplash and the countertops in our kitchen with um i guess like not vinyl um i really can't think today contact paper oh my god why did it <laughs> take so long for me to figure that out but we're going to be doing that with contact paper so i think what i'm gonna oh oh sophia text me so i think what i'm gonna do is measure everything and then go to the store and see how much comes in each bundle and then figure it out that way that's going to be a whole dedicated video i think we're going to be doing that this weekend and i'm so excited i originally wasn't going to do anything but contact paper is super cheap here and it's just going to like up our kitchen and make it look really really pretty i may also do the cabinets because they're way too dark for my liking but i think after i do the backsplash and redo the counters it may be fine i guess we'll see i'll figure that out once we get to that point i did buy a really cute stovetop cover i'm gonna have to show you guys real quick look how cute that is so she sent me over a couple of designs to look over and i ended up choosing this one but look how pretty and it kind of just makes the kitchen look tidy and put together. I just put whatever on here so ignore it. But I also got this stove shelf. I'm going to get like a cute little plant. Maybe leave that picture of Stella there. I haven't decided. Maybe some like incense and like a cute little sign. I need to go to the decor place out in town to like figure out what I want to do. But I kind of just threw that there to kind of see how it's going to look with things on it but I love it look how freaking cute that is I want to say spent 80 for everything I want to say but I'm really happy with the way that it came out and I'm pretty sure it's a universal stovetop cover so I could take it from house to house and whenever we do decide to move back to the states I'll have like a little piece of Japan to take with us I am still looking for the perfect coffee bar to put in that area right here I just haven't found one. There's two that I like on Amazon, but I really would love to get a uh, hutch or something from here, like a furniture piece. So that way, are you okay, Stella? Okay. 
she was coughing but i would really love to go back home with like a bigger furniture piece so i'm kind of hoping i find something here i've seen a few things that i kind of like but nothing that i love and that's honestly like no rush that's just like a separate project that i eventually want to get to but i'm praying and hoping i come across a piece that i fall in love with and then we could go ahead and buy it and start setting up our little coffee area but i'm clearly very talkative this morning so good morning um i do want to wash my face i just brushed my teeth made Stella breakfast, made my coffee, and that was pretty much it. I have a long list of things to do today. I kind of just want to organize. I need to go to the decor place to pick up some backsplash and do a few things like that, so maybe I'll take you guys with me. Hey. Hi. Are those daddy's glasses? Yeah. Good job. But before I get ready and head to the gym, I do want to say that today's video is in collaboration with one of my really good friends, Frankie. Frankie and I have done collabs in the past and we just figured why not collab again. I love collabing with my friends, but Frankie does a very similar content to me. She does motherhood and lifestyle vlogs. She's starting to do more home decor vlogs. I believe she just put up a home tour video up on her channel. So make sure you guys head over to Frankie's channel and subscribe and let her know that you guys came from my channel. You guys will absolutely love Frankie. She's a mama of two. She's amazing. She's great. And she's just a genuine person. And I feel like it's really hard to come by genuine people these days, but make sure you head over to Frankie's channel and subscribe to her channel. You guys will absolutely love her and you guys will not regret it. But I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm talking to Sophia. Sophia sent me some Lululemon leggings that I ordered and just a few extra goodies. I freaking love Sophia. So I'm going to finish our conversation, wash my face, get ready for the gym. So that way when Andrew gets home, I could just walk out the door head to the gym before they get busy. But happy Thursday, guys. If you're new around here, my name is Destiny and I make motherhood and lifestyle content here on my channel. I have a two-year-old daughter named Stella and we are currently stationed in Japan. So if you guys are into travel vlogs, motherhood content, lifestyle content, please like and subscribe. It really helps support my channel. All right, guys, enough rambling. I'm gonna finish my coffee, wash my face, get dressed, let the dogs out and happy thursday happy thursday it's the end of the week we have a lot of projects going on this week i feel like and today is just gonna be an amazing day i woke up in such a good mood if you guys couldn't oh my God, i totally forgot to tell you guys about stella's anthropology bike so back in november i ordered her this bike for christmas and after about a month the tracking never updated so anthropology refunded me for my whole order i want to say it was like a 500 dollars order i'm not even kidding you Anyways, I had picked this up the other day at the mailbox. It was a huge box. It didn't even say it was from Anthropology, so I had no idea. When I came home, I opened the box and I was like, oh my God, her Christmas bike came that we thought was lost in the mail. The rest of the order still hasn't come, but I remember getting two separate shipping trackings for the bike and then the remainder of the order. So I'm assuming that other things may show up as well, but look how freaking cute this is. She absolutely loves it. It comes with this cute little bell and this basket. Um, I'm really, really praying the rest of the order comes, but Anthropology did say that if the remainder of the order comes or if any of the order comes, I could just keep it free of cost. But obviously it was a mistake on their end, but oh my god yeah when this came in yesterday i was like what are the odds like how lucky are we but i had to share this because i figured like anybody would be super excited but i freaking love the bike it is so so cute but all right i gotta get dressed and ready for the gym but i just had to share this exciting news with you guys all right you guys it's a little later i'm using my phone to vlog so if the quality is different that's why um, but it is now 1037. Andrew took longer to get tested and everything. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, my car speaks Japanese to me, but Andrew took way longer to get tested and everything. So I'm barely going to the gym now, but today's arm day, which arm day, which arm day is not as long of a workout. I'm having trouble speaking today or like articulating my words but yeah arm day is not as long as a workout as leg day or ab day so I'm gonna go to the gym heading there now to work out maybe I'll try to get a few clips of me working out and then I'm gonna come home shower put Stella down for a nap and then we will go run errands and stuff probably when she wakes up Andrew's starting to feel a lot better um, he took the test and the test came back 
like fine like he doesn't have COVID or anything they also tested him for strep throat which he doesn't have strep either which is always a good sign luckily um I feel fine Stella felt sick I want to say earlier in the week but that only lasted like two to three days so it didn't last long also I look so tired I wanted to go to the gym way earlier in the morning but it's okay it's still early um also I normally walk to the gym but it's actually raining today and I just didn't feel like walking in the rain and since I'm kind of like not on a time crunch but I have things that I want to do I just figured it'd just be easier for me to drive but I'm about to pull up to the gym it's literally down the street from my house I'll try to get a few clips of what I do for arm day I'm gonna start off doing about 20 minutes to 30 minutes on the Stairmaster and then do my arms come home shower all right, you guys, it is much, much later. Andrew and Stella actually ended up taking a nap and I kind of just did some things around the house, but Andrew's actually not feeling too well after his nap. So we're gonna go get some medicine. Yesterday, I went to two of the stores here on base and they didn't have NyQuil or DayQuil. They were completely out, so we're gonna try this other place. And we were gonna go out in town, but that may not happen, which is totally fine. The good news is um, Andrew got COVID tested. It came back negative and strep toe strep he also got strep throat tested and that came back negative as well so he's not like contagious or anything i think he just has a cold which is what stella had i want to say at the end of last week so hopefully tomorrow he wakes up better but the doctor gave him the rest of the weekend off and monday they have off for the super bowl so he technically is not going back to work until tuesday so he has more than enough time to sophia's messaging me okay um but yeah i'm gonna run into this little mini mart to see if they have medicine for Andrew real quick. Him and Stella will probably just wait in the car. Also, I did want to mention that yesterday I filmed myself making my homemade tomato bis soup but it was it is so 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 good um so i am going to include that into today's video so if you guys are interested in seeing that recipe then please keep watching it is a new favorite of ours and it's toddler approved so i'm going to go ahead and include that now um but yeah i need to run into the store hopefully they have medicine for andrew wish me luck so i'm making tomato bis soup tonight since andrew's not feeling well i didn't want to bore you guys and have you guys watch me chop up eight tomatoes but basically i just bought eight of these tomatoes that you see right there you want to chop them up kind of thick you want the tomato okay you want to chop them up kind of thick and then drizzle them <laughs> mm, is that good and then drizzle them with um a little bit of olive oil kosher salt pepper and a little bit of garlic powder you want to preheat the oven to 375 and roast them for an hour so i'm about to put them in the oven right now and then once they're done roasting, I'll share with you guys how I finish off the soup. But tomato bis soup has become one of our favorite things to eat. So the tomatoes have about 25 minutes or so left. So what I'm gonna do is start everything in the pot. And then when the tomatoes are done, I'm gonna transfer them to the pot. But I gotta chop up a whole onion, some garlic, and then I'm gonna use these herbs from Trader Joe's. One 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. A little bit of pepper, I have extra in the pantry, some red pepper flakes, kosher salt, chicken stock, some sugar, but you're just barely gonna add a little, and then olive oil and some heavy whipping cream. So I'm just gonna chop this up and then saute the onions and the garlic in about a tablespoon of butter. And then by the time I'm doing all of that, the tomatoes should hopefully be done. You think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't Before I'm too invested I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions Get to know you better Why can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I also forgot to mention that you're
you're gonna need a full cup of roughly chopped basil. So I'm about to chop this up and then I'm gonna add the crushed can of tomatoes and then this as well. Oh, you move. <laughs> it kinda makes me go crazy. making this french bread honestly this is so good the soup is coming together perfectly it still has about 15 20 minutes to simmer and then i'm going to throw it through my food processor i really need to get an immersion blender and i told andrew that the last time i made this and i never bought it which i should they're super cheap i think they're less than 30 so i'm gonna have to go to the store and get one sometime this week because soups are just one of our favorite things to eat and make um but i'm just gonna pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes and by the time this is done this soup should be all ready to eat andrew had the best idea to brush um, garlic and olive oil on it before we add it to the oven so we're about to do that right now okay so the soup is about ready to transfer I'm gonna do a little bit at a time I'm gonna use my ninja food processor to slowly um blend it i don't want it super thin but i don't want it super chunky just kind of like a medium consistency this town's so lame i'm feeling so wired it's 4 a.m okay so everything is blended back in the pot and the last thing you want to do is add two third cups of heavy whipping cream so i'm gonna add that stir it let it simmer for another two to five minutes and the soup is about done. You guys, it smells and tastes so good even before I added the cream. So the cream is just obviously gonna make it creamier, more delicious. <laughs> All right, we already started eating, but I forgot to share with you guys. But this is what it looks like. It's honestly so good. You guys have to try the recipe out. The bread came out really good. Stella loves it. Toddler approved. Delicious. Okay, so they didn't have any Dayquil or Nyquil. I don't know why. Maybe people or a bunch of people around here are sick or something, but this is the third store on base. They don't have any. So Andrew just got just a couple of things that um, would help him out a little. At least we know he doesn't have COVID and is not like super contagious or anything. I'm gonna head to Daiso. I'll try to get a few clips in there. Hopefully they have like the contact paper that I have in mind that I think I want to do for the backsplash and for the counters. Um, and then that will just be a project, like I said, for the next couple of days. But I'm really excited about it. I just didn't see a backsplash that we love, but they had like two 
backsplash options, but we're gonna kind of see how the counter turns out and then figure out the backsplash. So this might be like a two day video depending on like how <laughs> everything turns out. But we're just gonna head home now. It's currently 4.20, so we kind of took a longer, longer in there than expected. I'm gonna go home, make some dinner, and honestly kind of just hang out. So I think I'm gonna end today's day in the life here. I know it wasn't that long and I don't even know if it was that interesting, but thank you guys so much for watching. Also, please don't forget to check out Frankie's video and see her day in the life and let her know that I sent you. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. I know you guys will absolutely love her, but we're gonna go home, relax. I feel like I can't articulate my words today for some reason, so that's probably a sign I need to stop filming. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Please like and subscribe. As always, I would love to have you guys here and I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.